Okay, hi all. Today I will show you how to configure SSL certificate on the Nginx server and enable HTTPS protocol on the server. How we how can we do it? For SSL certificate, we will use Let's Encrypt service, which is free, and you can use this free automated and open certificate authority to use for your own website. And uh, for especially for Nginx <coughs> configuration, we have Certbot. Certbot is a special service for configuring SSL certificates and uh, it makes everything automatically and uh, we almost do, do not need to do anything on our website, web server. So let's start. How can we do it? Uh, we have server we created on Google Cloud Platform Nginx server with uh, IP address and here we already have Nginx installed. Here it is. So. So let's connect to the server. Okay, so what do we have? It's Debian and um, how to install this server? First of all, we need to install servebot. So type sudo apt and uh, apt repository epa Okay, sometimes uh, it may be the issue that uh, applicate repository command not found. It's not uh, automatically installed uh, package for Ubuntu, so we need to install it. So how can we do it? So this command will install this package. You can find this command in the description under the video. So when it's installed here, we can we can run search bot again. Press enter yes. Yes here. That's it. It's installed and we can continue work with our Nginx. So special, especially for Nginx there is a configuration which makes everything automatically. We need to just, just install it. So sudo apt install python servbot Nginx. Yes. Okay, everything is installed. Uh, now we can generate our SSL certificate. Uh, we do not need to configure uh, firewall rules here because when we created Nginx server on Google Cloud Platform, we configured it. Um, Firewall, <coughs> firewall rules here when we enabled HTTPS and HTTP traffic. So how to generate this certificate? Uh, first of all, we need to remember that certificate is generated for specific domain and uh, uh, such a domain should be connected to our web server already. So to show it, I will switch to another account with uh, already enabled domain. Okay, so here we have uh, our Nginx server, the same, almost the same, just will connect. And the same as ever. So, how to generate servbot server uh, as a self certificate? We need to type servbot key Nginx D, and here we should specify domains, domain names or uh, our SSL certificate. So it will be key pro IO and um, this domain is already connected to our server and um, uh, in the description you can find the link uh, how to do it. 
So, alles gut. I already have this certificate, so it uh, asks me to attempt to reinstall this existing certificate or replace. I will reinstall it. And then it asks, uh, do we need to redirect from HTTP to HTTPS? So I guess yes, we need. So it's two. So uh, how it works, the setbot makes a call to Let's Encrypt and uh, then it clarifies is it domain we asked permission is connected to our web server and uh, are we owners of this domain and then if everything is fine it uh, shows that congratulations everything is fine and um, here you can find your uh, SSL keys. How to check it? You can go to Nginx configuration and uh, so here in the section listen you can find that for 443 port we have managed by third bot configuration and uh, our certificates also we have redirects for HTTP and everything is redirected with 301 status and to check it we can go to key pro and here, as we see, it's HTTPS, HTTPS, and uh, automatically redirected to this port. So everything works fine. To remember that this certificate is automatically generated for three months, and in three months it will be expired. So, uh, but don't worry because the bot automatically, automatically. Uh, renew the certificate and every three months it will be new new one but how to check it uh, to check it you can so clear okay how can you check it you can go to cron jobs and find the cron cron job which will renew the certificate so let's go to etc cron d so let's check what do we have here and here we have one third bot configuration. Let's open it. So we can see that uh, every day it checks and renews this certificate. So always it will be the new. So don't worry about it. Okay, that's it.